We want artists to be attracted to this area. We want them to be able to move here, to stay here, to be able to make a living here. The City of Marquette Arts and Culture Center has paired up with the Boniface Arts Center in Escanaba and the UP Travel Recreation Association in an effort to organize the arts throughout the UP. This collaborative effort was sparked by Art Prize 8, in which several art centers in the Upper Peninsula came together to rally up 51 artists to send to the Downstate Art Competition. With expressed interest from the Ironwood area and the Copper Country, they're working to create and promote the Regional Art Alliance. Arts doesn't know boundaries. That's why we're working regionally. You know, we're not confined to our individual city boundaries, county boundaries. Artists traverse the entire UP. They exhibit all over the UP. They sell all over the UP. They teach. They educate our children. So we have to work that way as well. We can't just think of uh, our geographic location. With Everyone across the UP, we can have a, a strong, unified presence, regional marketing, and we can really move forward. We're just really inspired and, um, and fortified, so there are a lot of options. The organization of both for-profit and non-profit art centers has a number of reasons for wanting to create the alliance, like increasing arts and culture tourism. We're hoping that People are driving in over the, over the bridge and over the border and coming in to see us, that we're bringing more artists up here and we have a stronger economy with cultural tourism. We know people come here for the great outdoors. We need to help them find the other places to go. So part of the alliance is building really a cultural trail across the UP. So if you're coming here to visit a waterfall, what are the other really interesting artist studios, museums, um, historic sites? that you can go to as well. They are also striving to attract and retain artistic talent in the UP. Harris used Beth Milner's jewelry in Marquette as an example of local artistry that has made a mark in the art industry outside of the confinements of the UP. But beyond all of this is a deeper rooted goal of preserving and increasing the arts and placing an emphasis on educating local communities on its importance. The creative economy needs to be at the leadership tables especially when there is community development and economic development initiatives going on, and they're not right now. Often the creative sector is an afterthought. The leaders of this movement are hoping to reach out to museums, historical sites, and other cultural programming in the UP. If you're interested in jumping on board, visit our website at abc10up.com for more information. Reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5, I'm Chelsea Birdsall.